This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Brilliance Audio presents Ripped from the Headlines The Shocking True Stories Behind the Movie's Most Memorable Crimes by Harold Schechter Performed by Malcolm Hillgartner the 1956 thriller, The Wrong Man, opens with an overhead shot of what appears to be a cavernous soundstage completely shrouded in darkness, except for an illuminated slice of the floor. Into the light steps the tiny silhouette of a rotund gentleman who comes to a halt and begins to talk in an unmistakable British voice. This is Alfred Hitchcock speaking. In the past, I have given you many kinds of suspense pictures— but this time I would like you to see a different one. The difference lies in the fact that this is a true story, every word of it, and yet it contains elements that are stranger than all the fiction that has gone into many of the thrillers that I've made before. Following this prologue, the film proper begins. The actual Kafkaesque case of a down-at-the-heels musician falsely accused of robbery. What strikes the modern viewer watching The Wrong Man on Turner Classic Movies or Netflix is Hitchcock's sense that he is presenting something unique, a startling true story. Clearly, filmgoers back then weren't used to such a thing. Nowadays, of course, shocking reality, or its convincing simulation, is precisely what audiences demand. For fans of true crime, our current cultural moment is a golden age— when the genre enjoys more legitimacy than ever before. Today's entertainment media, podcasts, network TV, cable stations, streaming services, offer a non-stop banquet of titillating, blood-soaked docudramas for forensic fans to feast on. An entire channel, Investigation Discovery, is devoted to round-the-clock true crime programming. As for the movies, prefacing a picture with the words, Based on True Events? has become the go-to way of ramping up audience interest. The situation used to be different. With rare exceptions like Hitchcock's film, the crime stories that thrilled audiences in the past were assumed to be the pure products of the screenwriter's colorful imaginations. However, the fact is that actual notorious crimes have provided the raw material for fictional movies from the very beginning of the film industry. The first narrative film ever made, Edwin S. Porter's 1903 The Great Train Robbery, in which a band of six gun-wielding desperados rob an express car, was modeled on the exploits of Butch Cassidy's Hole in the Wall gang. In the century that followed, scores of films, from acknowledged classics like Billy Wilder's Double Indemnity to blockbusters like Don Siegel's Dirty Harry, have been inspired by true crimes. The Wrong Man is the only film in which Hitchcock openly acknowledges his real-life source. As readers of this book will discover, however, other suspense thrillers by this master auteur were rooted in stranger-than-fiction reality. Long before movies were invented, of course, American authors had turned to true crime as the basis for their fiction. One of the first novels ever published in this country, Charles Brockton Brown's 1798 gothic thriller, Wieland, was based on the case of a religious fanatic named James Yates, who slaughtered his wife and four children in upstate New York. Some of Edgar Allan Poe's most famous tales were likewise inspired by sensational homicides of his time. The Telltale Heart, for example, sprang from newspaper accounts of a notorious New Jersey murderer who buried his victim beneath the basement floorboards. In later generations, such great American novelists as Frank Norris, Theodore Dreiser, and Richard Wright forged literary masterpieces out of widely publicized murder cases. These and other artists recognized that the crimes that exert the most powerful grip on the public imagination are not necessarily the most savage or sadistic, but those that tap into widely prevailing cultural fears, fantasies, and taboo desires. In creating their own crime dramas, Hollywood filmmakers have drawn on real-life cases for much the same reasons, to explore and exploit the social problems of the day, to illuminate the dark recesses of the human mind, and to indulge viewers in the vicarious thrills of the forbidden. And, of course, there is the reason Alfred Hitchcock gives in his prologue to The Wrong Man. At times, 
Real life offers stories, characters, and situations far more fantastic than anything even the most imaginative screenwriter can dream up.